my City Heights, City Heights courtyard cottage. Come on, Max, come on. Got my tangerines, got my avocados going here. When KPBS talked to Ricardo Castillo a year ago, he was just as excited about showing off his garden as his solar system. His rooftop solar panels and a new efficient heating and cooling unit have slashed his utility bills. But new solar customers are facing a different reality if regulators approve proposed changes to California's solar rules. We think rooftop solar is very important. Our concern was how you fund it. The proposed net energy metering rules, NEM is the shorthand, don't include investor-owned utility calls for mandatory steep grid connection fees. But the plan does slash the value of electricity produced on rooftops, and that means it'll take longer to recover the thousands of dollars homeowners spent to install the solar panels. California's eye-watering rates are, you know, the other part of the equation that deals with payback. And if you live in San Diego, you know, you have the highest rates in California. You, I believe, have second, first, third, you know, depending on the, you know, measurement, highest rates in the country. And 10 to 20 percent of that high rate is just the NEM subsidy to existing customers. The public advocate office's rate specialist says existing solar owners get a rate benefit that can earn them up to six times the value of their initial investment. Mike Campbell says that's too much, and the proposed rules are much more sustainable. If the question is, is it less generous than what there is? Yes. Is the amount of generosity we have currently reasonable? No. A move to steeper peak electricity rates between 4 and 9 p.m. is designed to create an incentive to install batteries. That would give residents the ability to store electricity during the day and use it during peak pricing hours. Campbell and Baker say they would rather see solar subsidies that give credits for installation like the federal government does. But they're stuck with paying for those subsidies inside already high electricity rates. Yeah, that's right. Give, give, give us a hand. The proposed changes don't sit well with solar backers. Advocates have worked hard for over a year to keep existing incentives so the state can double the number of solar households to 3 million by 2030. Advocates are optimistic the California Public Utilities Commission can still make changes. We've managed to build a statewide and local coalition of cities, elected officials, nonprofits, churches, schools, um, climate justice organizations, and we've been able to successfully advocate for changes in previous proposals. The new plan doesn't include a $600 million equity fund that was in last year's rejected proposal. That was a subsidy designed to bring solar to low-income households and communities of color. Advocates reject utility-backed arguments that the current solar subsidy falls unfairly on the bills of residents without solar. In order to address equity, you have to intentionally address inequity. And rooftop solar is a way to do that. You, you allow us to participate in our own um, life here, right, as well as helping the planet and helping the grid, but they're trying to take all that away. The California Air Resources Board says the state needs to quadruple the amount of solar-generated electricity by 2045 to help hit the state's carbon neutrality goals. The state's move to cut the solar subsidy by 75 percent is widely expected to slow solar installations. Wally Arita works for a solar installation company in San Diego, and he says that'll hurt an industry that employs more than 68,000 workers. This is very inconsistent with what they're trying to do, because by putting in this new mandate, they're basically trying to cut the number of residential solar installs, and that is not good for the industry at all. It's not good for the industry, it's not good for the homeowners. Regulators will discuss the second proposal to revise net energy metering on Thursday. They can adopt, reject, or tweak the measure, or a commissioner could introduce a different option. Any action requires a majority vote from the five-member panel. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.